I'm sure we've all um, had the experience where our friends have eaten something that really they shouldn't have and how that affects them the next day. I know you have, right? It's the same thing with dogs, right? We have to um, think about their nutrition and their requirements just as well as our own. After touring the market with canine nutritionist Stacy Aldridge, I learned which foods were healthy and not so healthy for dogs. It's so important to feed your dogs healthy foods, even when you're giving them treats, because left to their own devices, most dogs will eat absolutely anything. My dog's favorite treats are bully sticks, pig ears, all sorts of dried bull parts. His favorite treats actually are ice cubes. He loves ice cubes. Jezebel's favorite treats are anything you throw on the floor. Cardboard, squeaky toys, cookies, she plays with her cookies and barks at them and growls at them. She thinks that her cookies are alive. As much as I like to think that Charlie is perfect, there have been a couple of times where he has gotten into something that he's not supposed to, and he's eaten something that he's not supposed to. I now know lipstick is not a f When I'm looking for treats for my own dogs, I definitely read the back of the container, and there are certain ingredients that I will stay away from. Charlie's allergic to wheat. So I've been looking around for treats for him that I can give him that are wheat free. And I found Lutka's treats in a specialty store. And Lutka is actually a dog, a Polish lowland sheepdog that lives on the Upper West Side with his mom, Beth. I was able to contact Beth and she agreed to meet me and Charlie and one of my other dogs, Camille, up in Riverside Park. You must be Lutka. Hi. <laughs> and you must be Beth. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Kari, nice to meet you. Gotta love a dog named after a potato pancake. Latka, you're the official taste tester, huh? Need any help tasting those treats, buddy? <laughs> Just an offer. So we're up in your hood. Yeah. Where should we go? Um, I was thinking we could take a walk down by the river. Latka and I take walks down there pretty much every night. Uh -huh. And this time of day is perfect for it. Sounds it's great. It's going be beautiful. We'll go to the river? Yeah. Let's go. Down to the Hudson. And then Beth showed us one of Lekka's favorite spots along the river. Boy, this is a long walk. You know what would make this better? Some treats. <laughs> hint, hint. This is a Lekka treat? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a peanut butter, as peanut you can see. Peanut butter? We've gotten everybody's attention. There you go. Here's some more. Thank you. You're prepared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never leave the house without a snack. Okay, nicely. Good boy. Would you like one, you know? Latka was really the inspiration for the business, um, without a doubt. Without Latka, there would be no Latka's treats. She loved to bake, and she wanted to make Latka these treats that she knew were made with wholesome ingredients and were really made with love. And what happened was um, I started baking for Latka and just for fun started putting little packages together for gifts for friends and whatnot and put a little label with Latka's name on it. And pretty soon people said that they'd be willing to pay for them and would buy them. And after that, it kind of took on a life of its own. I told Beth that I cook for my dogs and it would be a great thing to be able to bake for them as well. And she said, um, well, why don't you come back and I can show you because you, anyone can make homemade treats with wholesome ingredients right in their own home. You wanna bake some cookies? Make you a deal. You bake, cookies. I'll eat. Yay! Let's go! Charlie, Camille, and I met Beth and her dog, Lepka, the dog who inspired Lepka's treats. After spending some time by the Hudson River, Lepka had to go to a grooming appointment, so we met Beth back at her apartment for a baking lesson and learned how to bake healthy, homemade dog treats, just like Lepka's. So we started off making the treats, um, the wheat-free ones, so Charlie could have them. Isn't it great how Kari is always looking out for me? Okay. Let's make some dough. Um, we're going to mix the ingredients for the veggie treats, which are wheat-free. We're going to be using brown rice flour. And Beth had cut up garlic and spinach and carrots and a little bit of parsley, and put it all together in, this, in the mix master and started making this amazing dough. Double 
double the garlic powder. And let it stir. Okay, we could add more water. And then once it's mixed to a certain point, we'll take it out and we'll hand knead it. Yum. This smells delicious. It's like my grandma used to do. Exactly. Do we get to use a rolling pin? We can, definitely. <laughs> yes. We're <laughs> excited. Do we yeah. Have we do. Go get it. Is it treat time yet? This is so fun. Yeah. You feel, you feel like such a good mom. Mm -hmm. You know, but as I'm really rolling this out, I'm like, oh, the love and the time that's being spent. Exactly. Because my dogs are so good. But whoever's best gets to lick the bowl, right? Now, you have your choice here. I provided a couple of different cookie cutters. You've got a heart, because I know how much you love your dogs. <laughs> I like that. Bone, because, well. Those are big. Yes, they are big for when your dogs are extra hungry. <laughs> extra hungry? That would be us. Just nod, Camille. This is so much fun. It's like Play-Doh. Yeah, but you get to eat it. You can't eat Play-Doh. What? What? You can't eat Play-Doh? Do you want to cut some? You could smell the garlic and you could smell the parsley. And when they were cooking, it was like dinner was in the oven. It smelled so good. Yeah, I'm more interested in the tasting. I'm going to take a peek and see how the treats are doing in the oven. Okay. Oh, they're baking up nicely. Let's take a look. Okay, great. Give them a little bit more time just to... One of the things um, you want to do with dog biscuits is to dry them out so they're nice and crunchy. Right. Trust me, I'm not that picky. They're still a little hot. Hey, good boy. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> you got crumbs on your face. Was that yummy? You want more? Good girl. And I had so much fun doing it as well. It's like baking cookies for friends. You know, it's baking for my kids. It was great. Yummy in the tummy? Is that yummy in your tummy? Oh, you got crumbs on your chin. A full belly followed by a full belly rub. This is Canine Karma. You want another cookie? Camille, you want another cookie? Yay! Beth, I cannot thank you enough. Oh, it was really great meeting you. Thank you. Yeah, Bye. Say hi to Latka for oh, me. Oh, I will. Thanks for showing me how to bake for my dogs. Definitely. Yeah. Have After fun. I finish cooking for them, I can bake give them for a them. <laughs> be sure to great. take some of the treats that we yeah, made. Yeah, these are for me. And I also want to give you, you some Latka's treats, some veggie and peanut butter, and some gift items to take home for your so sweet. dogs. I'm going to need a bigger purse. That's right. <laughs> I got your bigger purse right here. Come on, hi, guys. Charlie. Let's go. Thanks. Bye. Bye. When you take the time to make nutritious, homemade treats for your dogs, the benefits to their health and happiness is so worth the effort. So remembering that as we develop this dog yoga practice, the benefits of that healthy lifestyle include healthy eating, both for you and for your animal. You could tell how much Beth loved Latka and how devoted. It was such a sweet story out of wanting to do something good